Good afternoon, friends. I'm here at Aldi. If you've been watching my channel, you know that I love shopping at Aldi for basic groceries. I've compared the prices here to a couple of other grocery stores in my area, Walmart and Meijer, but I wanna compare their prices to the biggest grocery store where I live, which is Kroger. So let me head in store and show you what I pick up and how those prices compare. To compare prices, I'll be using the Kroger app, I'll be comparing the items here to the Kroger brand and making sure that the sizes are also comparable. I know that Kroger also offers digital coupons, so I'll let you know if there's a digital coupon for any item that I pick up at Kroger. To use a card at Aldi, you'll need a quarter to deposit, but don't worry, you'll get it back when you return the card after you're done shopping. Also, remember to bring bags to Aldi. They do not offer free grocery bags. If you don't bring your own bags, you'll have to pay five to seven cents for each bag. One of the things that I like about Aldi is that it's small and I can get in and out easily. The first thing that I'm gonna pick up are these brioche buns. They're priced at $2.49 at Aldi. At Kroger, a similar kind is priced at $3.99. My husband prefers the brioche buns, but if it were up to me, I would be fine with the regular buns that are only 85 cents per pack. Next, I'm headed over to the produce department. I'm gonna pick up this three pound bag of oranges. They're priced at $3.99. At Kroger, with a digital coupon, they're priced at $2.99. Next, I'm gonna pick up a package of raspberries. They're priced at $2.29 here at Aldi. At Kroger, they're on sale for $1.48 per package, down from the regular price of $2.99. Next, I'm gonna pick up a butternut squash. It's priced at 75 cents per pound here at Aldi. At Kroger, it's priced at $1.19 per pound. This squash weighs 2.28 pounds, so it'll be $1.71 at Aldi and $2.71 at Kroger. Near the squash, I'm gonna pick up this bag of small potatoes. It's priced at $2.89 at Aldi. At Kroger, the same size bag is priced at $3.49. One thing I've noticed about Aldi is that they actually have kind of expensive broccoli. It's priced at $1.75 per pound for the broccoli crowns. At Kroger, the broccoli crowns are $1.39 per pound. This package weighs 1.2 pounds and is $1.96 at Aldi and $1.55 at Kroger. This big 38 ounce bottle of ketchup is $1.39 at Aldi and $1.49 at Kroger. Right above the ketchup, I'm gonna pick up some tiki masala sauce for $2.15. At Kroger, that sauce is $2.69. I'm not picking up every ingredient that I need for each of the dinners that I'll be cooking this week because I do have a lot at home as well. Next, I'm going to pick up a box of these mini muffins. They're priced at $2.09 at Aldi. At Kroger, they're on sale for $2 per box, down from $2.59 per box. This sale on tortellini caught my eye, but it actually rang up at $1.49. I didn't notice until I got home. At Kroger, this would be $2.99. Since I decided to pick up some pasta, I'm also going to need to pick up some pasta sauce to go with it. This 24 ounce jar of pasta sauce is priced at 85 cents. The Kroger pasta sauce is priced at $1.49 for the same size jar. Next, I'm gonna pick up a box of applesauce pouches. They're priced at $4.49 at Aldi. At Kroger, they're on sale for $5 for a 12 count box, which is what I'm picking up. I need a can of diced tomatoes. I'm gonna to pick up this organic kind. It's $1.55 for 28 ounce. The same size can at Kroger would be $1.79. I'm picking up the organic kind because the other cans that I see also have spices included and that's not what I need for my recipe. So I'm just gonna to have to get the organic kind today. The next thing that I'm picking up are these soft cheese wedges. They're priced at $2.29 here at Aldi. At Kroger, they don't have a generic brand, so I'm gonna go with the Laughing Cow brand and it's priced at $2.79. Also in the cheese section, I'm gonna grab some American cheese because we're gonna have cheeseburgers this week. At Aldi, a pound of American cheese is priced at $2.79. At Kroger, it's priced at $2.99. The next thing that I'm gonna pick up is a gallon of whole milk. It's priced at $2.28 here at Aldi. I'm gonna have to reach in the back to get a fresh one. At Kroger, a gallon of milk is priced at $2.39. 
At Aldi, a dozen eggs are $1.28. I'm gonna grab two containers of eggs. At Kroger, a container of a dozen eggs is priced at $1.39. I always make sure to check my eggs to make sure none of them are crushed. This sign says that the chicken breasts are $1.89 per pound, but if you look on the package, you can see that they're actually $1.69 per pound. At Kroger, I found chicken breasts at $1.88 per pound. This is 5.79 pounds of chicken. At Aldi, it's $9.79. At Kroger, it would be $10.88. If you've been following along with the totals on the bottom of the screen, then you know that I've saved $6.44 today shopping at Aldi instead of Kroger. This was a pretty small shopping trip, so I think that I'm gonna do this experiment again another time when I have more to pick up. I just checked out and loaded all of my groceries into my reusable bags. I loaded my groceries into my car and now I'm gonna return the cart and get my quarter deposit back. This is kind of hard to do one-handed. Well, I didn't need to pick up a whole lot this week, but I will go ahead and show you my receipt. Here is my receipt. My total for everything was $49.05. If I had shopped at Kroger this week instead of Aldi, I would have spent $55.49 instead of the $49.05 that I did spend. I have to say, Kroger surprised me with how well they did. They have some good prices on their produce. If you have Aldi and Kroger in your area, which one do you prefer? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.